Hey, what's up? Jason Woodland here. Welcome to the Always the Journey show, uh, which is also a podcast, and I'll be getting that up and running here again here pretty soon. Anyway, just uh, I'm enjoying my day. It's a beautiful Monday. Um, talking to some wonderful clients, drinking my LaCroix and my tea, and uh, had a couple of thoughts I wanted to share. So over the weekend, we went up to Park City to spend time with my wife, my sister, and my niece for her 18th birthday, and that was a wonderful time. Anyway, uh, next to the uh, hotel that we like to stay at, um, there's a tea house that has been there for just under four years. And with this COVID situation, it uh, was put out of business. Um, in fact, Saturday was the very last day and it was really heartbreaking uh, to see that experience uh, take place. <clears throat> and especially uh, since tea is so near and dear to my heart, uh, I, I take my tea every single day, and I also used to be a partner in a uh, tea company, so um, it's very heartbreaking to see that kind of stuff take place. Anyway, um, a couple of uh, thoughts that I wanted to share. There's obviously a lot of changes and pivoting within business um, all around the world with uh, COVID-19 happening in 2020. Anyway, I saw an article, it actually came out yesterday in Inc. Magazine, and it was about McDonald's and how they had some good news that they were sharing. Now, I want to uh, make sure, whether you like McDonald's or not, it doesn't matter. It, what does matter is the message here. So when I was in school, uh, in college, uh, one of my degrees is in marketing, and I've always had a, uh, I've always loved marketing. Um, there's, there's a lot of um, really good lessons there that um, uh, transpire into other a aspects of life. But anyway, um, in marketing, there's the four P's of marketing, and that's uh, product, price, place, and promotion. Well, McDonald's, they were doing something um, uh, that, that sort of contained that concept. Um, they called it uh, the three P's. Well, I don't know if they called it that or if the writer um, themselves were calling that. But anyway, they were talking about promotions, predictions, and process. Now, the thing that's really interesting about the concept of predictions is that um, I'm, I'm usually talking about the concept of predicting the future in a, a couple of business groups that I'm a part of and how it's absolutely imperative for us as business professionals to really get a granular understanding of where the market is moving. So you can, uh, I, I always say, if you're, if you're looking at one or two weeks in advance or even a month in advance, you've already lost the game. You really need to be looking at a minimum of six months in advance and even a couple of years. Now, obviously, looking that far out, you're really throwing darts. It's sort of like building a financial pro forma. Um, if you're looking at uh, the next three to five years, you're really guessing. But you have to really be guessing where the market is moving into the future. So anyway, wanted to cover a couple of things that they were talking about specifically. Um, so the first thing here is they were talking about... Um, okay, so first of all, their good news was that they have now increased in business 4.6% over the last three months, um, and uh, now now it's being compared against their 2019 revenues. Um, <clears throat> their their first thing um, that they talked about within this article was the concept of promotions. Um, so of course. They've got a lot of money and they've got a lot of uh, uh, buying power, so to speak. So one of the promotions they did was with a, uh, they teamed up with local rapper and producer, uh, Travis Scott, and they did a meal deal. Obviously not all uh, businesses have got that kind of budget to do something, <clears throat> but it helps you sort of think a little bit further outside of the box on what you can do to promote your business um, during this time and sort of pivot al along some of those uh um, along those lines. Um, second, predictions. Um, what they were doing is they, they, of course, nobody could predict that there was a global pandemic that was going to happen in 2020. But you can predict what's going to happen in terms of technological changes and certain disruptions that take place. And obviously, too, one of the big wins that McDonald's had um, is its drive-through uh, concept. So what they did start doing, though, uh, and this is sort of interesting because obviously McDonald's has always been popular for decades and decades and decades. But what they started doing after a little while is they started building out their menu and, and they, they, in essence, were trying to be everything to everyone. Well, anybody who's been in business that has attempted to do something like that has failed miserably. 
because you can't be everything to everyone, period. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So they, they built out their menu, it started getting really big, and then they just started doing the uh, breakfast all day concept. Well, you know, I mean, I like the McDonald's hash browns, and being able to get the hash browns at any time of the day was sort of cool. But what that did is that it started slowing down their drive through lines, and that's not a good thing. And so they pared down their menu, which was the first really good thing that they did. Um, they quit trying to be everything to everybody. Um, and then they, they did the reinvent drive through concept. So they actually put a lot of predict, uh, money into predictive intelligence within their, their drive throughs so they could run them through a lot quicker. Because if you remembered for a little while there, if you were ever going in through those drive throughs they were slowing down quite dramatically. And it was no longer a fast food concept. Um, again, this is not a, an argument whether you like fast food or not. It doesn't matter. Um, what it boils down to is what did they do before this happened and what are they currently doing to uh, succeed during this, this situation. Um, so anyway, uh, looking at what, the, what does the future look like for your particular kind of business, how are customers going to interact with you in your kind of business, and make sure you try to get there before you have to. Um, I always say that the universe has a way of forcing you to do something, whether it's your health or your finance or your business or technology or whatever that looks like. At some point, you will be, in essence, forced to make the change. It's sort of like uh, the, the person that goes to the doctor and the doctor says, if you don't change your diet ASAP, you're going to have a, a year or two to live at the most and you're going to die. And then the person has that moment where they say, oh my gosh, like, I, 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 I need to make that change. Well, you need to make that change. Try to do it before you have to do it. So anyway, uh, finally, um, the, the third P in those three P's that they were utilizing is process. Um, this is a, a big takeaway because, of course, what they were doing here um, is, again, streamlining all of their processes. Like I've already touched on, they streamlined the menu. Um, they got rid of the all-day breakfast. They made it a lot cleaner and a lot quicker um, for their customers to be able to do business with them. And one thing that I'm actually seeing a bit, and I'm, and I'm telling this um, you know, to as many people as possible, first of all, support your local business. You know, I mean, there's a lot of businesses out there that are in um, you know, dire straits. There's a lot of them that are stressing and struggling. Go out there and do your best to support local business, no matter where you're at. Um, the other thing on the flip side of that is for the businesses... I know it's tough because obviously there's a lot of requirements and there's a lot of mandates and a lot of those things happening, but do your best to make it easy for your client to do business with you. Um, there's been a couple of businesses here in, in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, where I live, and I've, you know, my wife and I, we try to go out and we try to support locally as much as possible. And uh, there was a particular experience, I won't say who it is or where they're located or anything along those lines, but the hoops to jump through just to understand their menu and then to pay them was so much that it just didn't, I, I, it, it, it wasn't fun trying to interact with them and, and to do business. And then on top of that, the customer service was half-baked to say the least. So make sure your customer service is, is turned up dramatically this these are interesting weird times and customer service is king make sure you do your best to try to let your your uh, your customers do business with you um is as easy as they possibly can of course alongside of all the the uh, restrictions and, and all these things happening but anyway there's some good lessons here from from mcdonald's like i said uh their uh, process um promotion and um oh, what was that uh the third one that they were doing. So process, promotion, and prediction, of course. So try to predict what your customers want. Try to predict where your business is going to go. And just wanted to share a couple of those items there. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm going to be spending a little bit more time on YouTube. I've always loved this platform. I've learned a lot from this platform. And uh, anyway, feel free to subscribe if you'd like, um, just by pushing the subscribe button. Um, push the, uh, the like uh, or the dislike, uh, whatever works for you. 
um, and, and maybe leave a comment if you'd, if you'd uh, be so inclined as well. Anyway, again, thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate your time. There's a lot of places you can look on, on Facebook or on uh, YouTube. And uh, anyway, uh, enjoy yourself and uh, take care of yourself out there. Thanks.